Hey guys, that one Andrew here, back with another video. Sorry I haven't updated in a while. I've been thinking about making videos a lot, and it's always hard trying to figure out what to do and how to do it, and it doesn't help that my computer's been broken for months. Not that I've ever made quality content, um, but, you know, I would like to try eventually. Anyways, um, I've been thinking about changing the identity of this channel, and I've been kind of doing this already with my other videos. But um, the camera was severely lacking before and the aspect ratio and stuff. But I got this new Google Plus, so, or Google Plus, Google Pixel, and I'm hoping that the aspect ratio would be right and maybe recording straight from YouTube might be right. So we're going to try this and we're going to look at the Persona 5 Royale um, Straight Flush Edition from Japan just because I got this a while ago and. Persona Fever seems to be in the air with Scramble releasing very imminently in Japan and then of course the Royale releasing very soon in North America too. I've played a little of this game already, um, the Japanese version of course. Didn't really get to any of the major changes, um, though there are changes right at the beginning. Uh, and it's good, I like it. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna jump right into it. Uh, here's the case. It's usually in the box, but the way I have it displayed, I just had this out already, so I'll go ahead and look at the case real quick. It's very stylized. A lot of Japanese words that I don't know. The cover looks nice. I would compare it to the original, but that's somewhere who knows where. And then the disc is this nice gold sheen disc. I'm hoping that we'll get something like this in America, but I'm also hoping that the case will be different. I'm, I know you can just go on Amazon right now and see the different cases, but again, that takes effort. We're going to open the box right here. And usually right here is where the game would be. So it would open up like this. And the first thing that's right on top is this soundtrack. Um, not sure how many songs are on here, but I do know that not the complete soundtrack is on here because there's no way that it would fit only on two discs. Um, my guess would be that these are just the uh, new songs and tracks that were added to the Royale specifically. Hopefully, um, it's not just other things. Here's a code that I've already used for a theme. I'm not sure what theme it is. You know, it's theme though. And then it comes with this P Studio Art T-shirt. Which again is interesting, or again, which is interesting because um, a lot of collector's editions don't come with t-shirts and there's a good reason that they don't. Uh, people are different sizes and for them to get the right size for everyone would be very difficult. I'm not going to open it because I don't want the t-shirt opened, but I'll kind of give you a little sneak peek. It says Persona 5 The Royale and it has the straight flush edition and you can kind of see this... Um, nice silvery splash on there and if you look closely you can start seeing like some of the characters faces in it and stuff like that they really like this um collage theme with a lot of their um promotional stuff for the royale and the last thing that is in this box is the royale art book again haven't opened this because i am scared of spoilers i know there are a couple new endings endings that i want to get so really this is just showing you things that are in the Royale Straight Flush Edition. Uh, I came with the t-shirt, soundtrack, game, and then the art book, and of course this uh, theme also. I believe it's a theme. Um, and then the box, which is a nice box, I guess. Um, pick this up for way too much money. I would recommend getting this for no more than a hundred dollars maybe a hundred and twenty but other than that i would not recommend spending more than that um persona 5 royale comes out in english very soon by the time recording this we're a little over a month away just wait for that don't worry about getting the japanese version most of the things being added are um social links and story things which would require you to know japanese and if you don't know japanese then it's kind of a waste of money because you already have the game Anyways, that's this video. Hope you enjoy it. Um, planning a lot of things for the future. Planning a lot of things for March. Hopefully, those things will get pushed through. Hoping that the videos will be very good. But, you know, we'll just have to wait and see if history um, tells us anything. It's that these videos uh, come out a little rough sometimes. But that's okay because we're going to keep trying. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you on the next video. Teddy out.